how easy these fights are is really starting to scare me. Uh oh. They're, they are causing the distraction, apparently. Go, tanks! Go, dwarves! Please don't shoot me. Thank you. And we've entered the Tower of Babil. Looks very similar to the Tower of, of Zot, doesn't it? Let's go over to the east first, because I do see a glowy treasure chest over here that I want to grab. And we don't have new enemies. And what do we get for our journey over here? We get an ether, which is nice. But once again, I don't like that I can't sell these. I really don't. So now we need to head back the way that we came and avoid the obvious door that leads to the next, uh, next area. We need to head west instead and go over here to get ice arrows. And down here we can get more ice arrows, which is nice when you encounter flame enemies. Luckily I have Rido, Rido with me now, who does have black magic. Alright, now we are ready to head through the door. And over here we can find ourselves a bandana, which sounds like another upgrade for Yang. Uh, he's on the leather helmet right now, but I'm sure the bandana is going to be a little bit of an upgrade, possibly. Okay, 63, 35, 14. Okay, so his magic damage went, or sorry, magic defense went down a little bit uh, from 14 to 12, but his attack went up by one, and his regular defense went up by three. That is definitely for Yang. Go ahead and keep moving. Then we can go down here and find a room down here all by itself. Seriously? Again? Let's go into... Really? Really? Oh, we do have new enemies, though. There are flame men here. Uh, a lot of things seems to be flame around here. Uh, they get their first attack in because we were surprised and they're picking on Raya because they know that she's going to be the one that destroys them ultimately. Why is she going to be the one that destroys them ultimately? Let's go for a kick, whatever. Damn, stop hitting everybody. Seriously. Raya, get your turn. You need to cast Ice 2 on everything and watch them all crumble before your mighty power! Let's use a cure 2. We'll see which one goes first. Uh, one bad thing about this game that I've noticed is that uh, when you use an item in battle and the battle ends before you're able to use the item, you still use the item, but you don't get the effects out of it. So, uh, one of the battles, uh, right here got knocked out because we were surprised. And... Really? Not everything died? I swore Ice 2 was going to be enough for him, but it looks like I'm going to need a little bit more than that. Still not enough for the flame bag. Alright, we, we were able to get one of them. Uh, yeah, she's useless with her whip, so there's no point in me trying to attack with that. Damn, everything hits hard. Go for another cure, too. Fight! Uh, so I was trying to, to use a life potion on, on Rydia, and uh, the battle ended before I got to use it. So not only did she get the experience, not get the experience, but I lost the, the life potion. It didn't get used. She didn't get revived. You get 1,090 gills, 1,376 experience, and Rosa gains a level. But she doesn't learn a damn thing. We got fire arrows, though. That's always nice. Let's go ahead and go into this room here that I wanted in the first place. And there are monsters inside that chest. We have an alert enemy here. Identifying object. I don't like the sound of that at all. Am I able to, to kill it in time? Alert! Ah, uh, he's summoned some kind of... I don't even know what that is. But I'm going to cast uh, lightning. Well, let's try lightning on everything. I mean, it's a machine enemy. Let's go ahead and cure everybody because we're still pretty damn low on everything. But it is a stone man. Really? The alert, the the mechanical thing is not weak to, to lightning? What game am I playing? Come on, and, and this guy refuses to die. Fucking stone man. Alright, let's try ice then on, uh, on everything. Maybe they're just strong against magic? 
Holy crap! That that was quite a hit you got there. Let's keep going. I'm, I'm running very low on MP for Rosa already. And apparently I'm uh, yeah, not over leveled for this part. Are you shitting me? I hate you, Alert. I do hate you. Alright, let's jump on the fucking Alert. Let's destroy his face so that he doesn't summon another fucking one of these things again. Damn, you got hit hard. Uh, jeez, use like a cure two on yourself. Items have the, the lowest, uh, lowest turnover time between when you can use it. There we go, down goes the alert before I can summon again. We get 860 gil, 1600 experience. I don't think you get extra experience for killing them more than once. And we get the blizzard spear out of the chest. Uh, it's not, it, it, yeah, when you find an enemy in the chest, it, it, it shows up at the end of the battle. He can equip the door effects, really? Yeah, it's not as good. Not as good, but it does give him defense. But we're going to go for the Blizzard Spear instead. 79 to 90. Huge upgrade for him. I probably didn't even need to buy him the Fire Spear, but it was there, and I wanted it. So let's make our way out of this room here, and we can go up into... I choose left. I think this is where I wanted to go. No, this is actually not where I wanted to go. It is over on the right side instead. Here we find another small little room with really right on the spot with another treasure chest with more monsters inside, like I thought. And here we have another alert enemy. We'll see what it summons and if it's the same thing, then I'm going to be uh, cutting it out. But if it summons something different, then I'm going to show that off. Let's see if he summons something cool this time. He summoned a, chim a chimera. <laughs> yeah, the whip sucks. The whip fucking sucks. Okay, uh, let's go for an aim on the alert. I want that thing to die. Oh, Kane took it out. Nicely done. I believe that the, the earth enemies are weak against poison in this game. Uh, just like in Final Fantasy 3. But I could be entirely wrong. Ah, you got poisoned and charmed, Chimera. You are useless now. Yang is definitely kicking ass and taking names right now. And down goes the Chimera, thanks to uh, thanks to some ice damage. You get 610 gil, 880 experience, and Kane has gained a level. Nice. And in there we get the ice, the ice brand, the ice sword, which we are going to put on Cecil immediately. Where is it? There it is. We get from 77 to 87. Upgrade of 10. Nice. Plus, everything in here seems to be fire anyway. Really? One step again? Okay. Now that this really... They just do not want me to leave. Can I take Can I take this step out? Thank you. <laughs> it allowed me more than one step for once. Thank you, game. I, I have no idea what... Why am I going in a zigzag? That is not what I need to do. Let's go up here and get the cat claws for Yang. Now, I have no problem changing the poison out because the poison's not been doing that much for me anyway. We go from 64 to 65. Not that big of an increase. I might, you know, switch it back to the poison if I feel like it's going to be doing a lot, especially against a stone enemy like we saw before. Uh, but that one extra damage should help against most enemies. And in here we get a cure too. And we can head back the way that we came. Go south from here. And down here we can find... Oh, there's a chest down there. And an egg. Destroy it. I don't want it to live. And it fell asleep, thanks to the cat claws. And it's charmed as well. I forgot that the cat claws can put you to sleep. And down it goes, before it ever hatched. Very happy about that. You know, you get measly anything, but it's enough for Yang to level up. That's always nice. Uh, usually they do hatch, and I believe it's a random enemy when they do hatch. You get a life potion out of there. They'll make up for the one that I wasted. And we can go up to the fourth floor, get ourselves an archer bow, which is going to go on Rosa. It's from 41 
to 46. A lot of upgrades, a lot of good upgrades. Nothing down on this side, but if we go over on this side, we can grab ourselves another life potion. So I'm actually positive in net life potion gains so far this dungeon. And yeah, we've seen it. So let's continue on, head up here. Uh, that is the way that we came, so we need to continue going north. And as a result of that battle, I was able to actually get Medusa Arrows, which are going to be upgrades, I believe, uh, from 46. No, actually, wow, those are really bad, but uh, they can actually petrify. I thought they were actually strong. <laughs> I'm getting my, my, my arrows confused, unfortunately, but... Uh, they do have a tendency to petrify the enemies, even though they don't do very much damage. Now, hopefully, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to take this thing out in one hit. Even I was able to take that thing out. I want to show off what it does, you know, but uh, unfortunately, I can't. Let's just go into this room. We'll take a shot, and it is a save point which I am going to be using. And I used a tent, and it was actually the first time that it didn't actually heal everything. Rosa doesn't have her full MP back, but she's only like three off, so I don't care too much about it. Three MP is not going to make or break me in this game. So let us head down here into more rooms. And in this room on the left, we find... Oh, I bet there's an enemy in here. Monsters! Are you going to show something new? Please show me something new. If you don't, I'm going to cut you out. What is he going to summon? He summons a... A Naga. Okay, I was like, what is that? Uh, you confused me. Alright, uh, it should be weak to, to ice. Uh, let's just try an ice one just in case it's not again. Go ice! It's not. Uh, let's go for an egg. No, don't tongue anybody. Uh, your tongue missed. Your tongue sucks. Why, why is it not weak to ice? It's weak to darkness a little bit. Just a little bit, though. Not too bad. And it fell asleep. And it was charmed. Ah, uh, Yang. You are doing awesomely with your status effects lately. But for that fight, we get 530 gills, 644 experience. Nice. It's a little different.